Well, I don't know about you boys, but I'm pretty beat. Well, it's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. Seems a shame he never had to pay. Well, funny thing about that, I did have one more chance at him. Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with them. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's what I'm saying. I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. Both Johnny Ringo and Jim Reed fell fairly quickly. But the last one, Roscoe Bob Bryant. That son of a bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after all those years. By now, he had to be close to 70. But for all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. As did others. For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. I was furious as hell at that bastard for making me who I am. A man with no family, no friends. No purpose except shooting Bob Bryant dead. Nothing could stop me from taking his life. Nothing could stop me from taking his life. I'd been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid. But that chapter of my story you already know. Chapter of that fairy tale, you mean? <sighs> Suddenly it was 1910. There I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. The town was falling apart just like me.
I wasn't about to call it quits. Even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The Wild Bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. Some folks think the town is haunted, so they figured there wouldn't be many people poking around. Intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. But like I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. Actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Because when I woke up... Uh, from the dead? There was silence all around me. I can swear to God I saw Billy then. Billy who? Billy the kid. William Bonnie. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. Here, there, even over there. So I am right. You are titched in the head. Mr. Graves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer, Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns a blazing. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead, too, and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and, and drag me down to perdition. I saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me. <laughs> In the gates of the cemetery, I saw John Wesley Harden, just like I remembered him. Robert Olliger appeared with his terrible double-barrel shotgun. But no ghost army was stopping me. Uh, my father-in-law got hit with a falling branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead.
covered in gravel. Guardians of the Garden of the Dead. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the great beyond. Jesse, Woodson, James, and Jim Reed, each one deader than the next. I thought I would go crazy. Thought? <laughs> Finally, I saw Harry Alonzo Longo. The Sundance Kid? Like a general leading his Legion of the Dead. You told us before you seen him alive. He was alive. <laughs> then I heard a voice call to me from afar. It was Robert Leroy Parker, AKA Butch Cassidy, coming at me from out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. But the kid wasn't quite deceased. Not yet. Takes more than one little bullet to kill the likes of me, Parker. Those two looked like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while. Clearly, they were no longer amigos. Shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. You won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked him about Bob Bryant. But they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. Etta's mine. And so is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid died there in that cemetery not six months ago. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian Army. Everybody knows that. That's the legend, but it ain't the truth. So, uh, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old bitch ain't even Silas Greaves. Sir, is that true? 
Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. Oh, man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob, your past always catches up with you. I, I was a different man back then, crazy. Drinking, I, I've changed my ways, I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along. Why not just lay your cards on the table? Here. I won't have it said that I left you with nothing. That's how you want it? So be it. Holy shit! Right, Molly, move against that wall. Go! Did you know it was him all along? Cassidy told me Bob was in Abilene before he died. But I wasn't sure Ben was my man until he revealed how much he knew about Ringo and Reed. The coin, of course. Well, that was the last nail in that particular coffin. I better go get the sheriff. You okay, boy? You're looking might shook up. Uh, Dwight, maybe you best go home. Uh, young Eisenhower here is leaving for West Point tomorrow. Uh, he shouldn't get caught up in something like this. I think I might head out myself at this juncture. Unless you want to stop me, Jack. No, sir, huh, Mr. Greaves. So where are you going now? Now that you had your revenge? Doesn't really matter, does it? as I have sold my soul for it, and will never again walk for those I have lost. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along, why not just lay your cards on the table? Wanted to suss you out, Bob. See what kind of man you turned out to be. Maybe prod you into drawing on me. See, all those years on your trail turned me into a killer. Can't even remember who I was before you tried to murder me. You, on the other hand, walked that very same path in exactly the opposite direction. What do you mean by that? You think your life is worth sparing, Bob? I'm, uh... Boy, what's your name again? It's Eisenhower, sir. Dwight Eisenhower. What do you plan to do with your life, Dwight Eisenhower? Uh, tomorrow I'll be leaving for West Point, sir. So, you want to be a soldier? Well, then do it right, son. Don't tear down the world out of anger and spite like I did. You build it up. You do something decent with your life, you hear me? Sir? Yes, sir. I won't have it said I left you with nothing, Bob.
Won't you spare me over till another year? There are men who fear legends, but a man legends fear. He's a four-holstered reaper, crying bullets for tears. When a drought comes in justice, bullets make good rain. When the heartache has dried up, only blood heals the pain. There's a time for grieving, and a time to just pray. There's a time for forgiving, but it's not for today. You can hide sins from the gavel, you can drown them in rum. When Silas Grease finds you, there's nowhere to run. And time goes too slowly for the gunslinger's eye. Till he's buried his promise, there's no time to cry. There's a time for grieving, and a time to just pray. There's a time for forgiving, but it's not for today. There's a time for grieving, and a time to just pray. When Silas Grease finds you, it's a time you must.
must be That's the time you must be Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Won't you spare me over till another year?